Chenko, is he the best pound for pound? Is Crawford the best pound for pound? I tweeted about this uh, two days ago. Yeah? It's like they're, they're playing musical chairs. Yeah. Terrence Crawford, uh, Lomachenko, and Mikey Garcia. Uh -huh. It's whenever someone fights and you're like blown away by that performance, like, oh, he's number one. Yeah. And then the next guy fights, oh, no, he's number one. Well, guess what, man? That's the way it is now. So right now, my pound for pound, Terrence Crawford is number one. But you can't go wrong if, if you go uh, if you alternate all three of them. Uh, ideally, it, my current pound for pound list is still Lomachenko, just because I love yeah. his style, me mm. personally. So it's Lomachenko, Terrence Crawford, Mikey Garcia. That's mine. What'd you think of uh, Crawford's fight with Benavides? I think he was awesome, man. Yeah. He fought he fought a, a hungry young uh, fighter that that. That, that had everything going for him. He was ultimately prepared for that fight, and uh, he came to win, man. You got to give it a Benavides. He yeah, came he to did. win. Yeah. He came. He came to win. That was always exciting. He just fought an elite fighter, uh, uh, and he got caught from a punch that he didn't see either. I mean, it was, those uppercuts they, they are dangerous threw uppercuts to throw. Uppercuts at the same time. The uppercuts and Terrence are didn't even land flush. He landed like the the two knuckles right there. Because he didn't. S the uppercuts are the most dangerous punch to throw for a fighter because you leave yourself open. It's, yeah. So. Uh, it's a high risk, high reward type punch, mm -hmm. and it, it cashed out for Crawford, and it, it, it didn't cash out for uh, Benavides. But it was a beautiful knockout, and he finished up perfectly. Crawford's a stud, man, and, and I put him on my number one list. What'd you make but, of the, the counter punching from Benavides? Benavides was good, man. He was sharp. I thought he was ready for the fight. I think if, if it would have been a, an eight round fight, it would have been a different story. Or, or or what fight did that? I mean, what round did it end? Twelve. Twelve, right? Yeah. yeah. And by the eighth, if it was an eighth round decision, it was shit. It could have easily been a close fight. Mm -hmm. um, but this is professional championship boxing. And look, it, it ended in the 12th. Yeah. It ended in the championship rounds versus the champion. That's not a coincidence.